Clint Eastwood has become one of the most respected figures in Hollywood, but that respect hasn't come without making some enemies. The beloved actor turned director takes his work incredibly seriously, and that can spell trouble for some of the actors on his film sets. Some of the many actors who have rubbed Clint the wrong way include Matt Damon and Tom Hanks. Join Facts First as we explore actors who got on Clint Eastwood's bad side. All directors have different styles, and some directors are easier on their stars than others. When it comes to directing films, Clint Eastwood likes to do things fast and efficiently. This means his actors and actresses are typically encouraged to get things right on the first take. Since all actors and actresses have different workflows, this can prove disastrous for some of the stars on the set of Clint's films. One such star who has fallen victim to Eastwood's rigorous demands is Matt Damon, who starred in Clint's 2009 feature Invictus. Invictus was a biographical drama about the events surrounding the 1995 Rugby World Cup. In the film, Morgan Freeman portrayed South African President Nelson Mandela, while Matt Damon portrayed the captain of the South Africa rugby union team called the Springboks. Of course, Matt's character had to have a South African accent, something Matt doesn't naturally have. It took him a while to perfect the accent, and he wasn't totally sure he had it down when it came time to film. But Clint was adamant the actor had to get his work done in just a few takes. According to Matt, Clint's method of directing led to the use of several takes the actor wasn't completely happy with his performance in. But Matt went on to express he still believed Clint was a great director and had confidence in his vision. Matt's confidence paid off as his performance in Invictus ended up netting him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Still, Matt prefers to do a few more takes when he's the one in charge. Clint has become notorious for encouraging his actors to get their performances right in one or two takes. According to Clint, doing more than that is a waste of everyone's time. And Clint likes the rawness and spontaneity he feels actors and actresses bring to the first take. In his eyes, too much rehearsing can ruin the human element of a scene. Many directors like to spend numerous days filming single sequences, while Clint feels this kind of schedule can lead to low morale in the crew. According to Clint, it's good for the cast and crew to feel like things are always moving. Besides Matt Damon, another actor who has found himself the victim of Clint's rigorous demands is Tom Hanks. Tom portrayed Chelsea Sully Sullenberger in Clint's hit 2016 film, Sully. The film was based upon the real-life incident in which the pilot became a hero by successfully landing a crashing plane and saving over a hundred people. The film marked the first time that Tom had ever worked with Clint although both had been beloved Hollywood figures for decades. According to Tom, the experience was a little bit intimidating. Tom has said he felt Clint treated him like cattle on the set of Sully, which makes a lot of sense given that Clint rose to fame on film as a cowboy. Clint has said a lot of his directorial experience has come from watching the directors on the set of the TV series Rawhide. And Clint was apparently enamored of the on-set Wrangler's abilities to deal with the show's livestock. Clint considers himself a wrangler of his actors and actresses on the set of his films, and that experience can be daunting for them. According to Tom, Clint could communicate what he wanted with a simple disapproving look. Tom apparently began to fear this look while working on the set, but Clint wasn't the only intimidating figure on the set of Sully. The real-life hero was a fixture on the set as well. He was brought onto the film early on in an advisory capacity and continued this role throughout most of filming. When the real-life Sully was on set, he apparently had plenty of input to give to the cast and crew. But Clint didn't always warmly receive this input, given that he was the director. As rumor has it, Clint and the real-life Chelsea Sullenberger butted heads numerous times. The real-life Sully always felt he knew what the best way to handle a scene was, while Clint trusted his own vision more. Clint had also experienced what it was like to be on a crashing plane, as he had suffered an infamous plane crash years before that nearly killed him. But Clint has never been forced to heroically pilot a crashing plane to safety. Regardless of the tension between Clint, Tom, and Chelsea himself, Sully turned out pretty good for all involved. The film was a major success with both audiences and critics, with particular praise being heaped on Tom's performance and Clint's direction. And the real-life Chelsea Sullenberger received more fame and recognition than ever before for his heroic deeds. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. 
Creative decisions weren't the only thing that divided Clint Eastwood and Tom Hanks on the set of Sully. The movie was filmed and released in the year leading up to the 2016 election. That election was perhaps the most volatile the country had experienced, and Clint and Tom had found themselves on opposing ends of the political spectrum. Clint has always been one of Hollywood's unlikely Republicans and has even dabbled in politics himself as mayor of Carmel-by-the-Sea, California from 1986 to 88. Given that Clint has always found himself on the conservative side of the political spectrum, it wasn't too surprising when the famed actor and director came out in support of 2016 Republican nominee and eventual victor Donald Trump. However, this put Clint in direct opposition with most of his Hollywood brethren, including Tom Hanks. Like most of Hollywood, Tom was an adamant supporter of Hillary Clinton. However, Clint and Tom were able to brush this off for the most part on set and keep things professional during filming. Tom isn't the only person who's been put off by Clint's political ideologies. Clint has made public remarks about his political beliefs that have rubbed many people the wrong way, including documentarian Michael Moore. The two infamously became embroiled in a feud, which culminated in Clint jokingly threatening to shoot the famed documentarian during a speech. Clint has had much to say about the so-called era of political correctness, which he believes to be a detriment to both the country and to Hollywood filmmaking. Despite Clint's intimidating demeanor, the director has expressed he strives to make his cast and crew feel comfortable on the set of his films. Despite the occasional hiccup, it appears he typically accomplishes this. Even Matt Damon and Tom Hanks were satisfied with how their performances turned out in Invictus and Sully, even if they had qualms while they were being filmed. Clint's decision to work fast on his films is one of the reasons the legendary actor and director is able to take on so many projects. Most of his films are released to wide acclaim, so it doesn't seem as if the director is suffering by only allowing his stars a couple takes. Still, it's understandable that his unique directing methods might not jive well with all the actors and actresses on his sets. In addition to his efficiency, his amicable relationship with Warner Brothers has allowed him to stay active over the years, working at a rate that makes most other filmmakers envious. He's maintained a working relationship with the studio for decades, and they've come to allow the director an unprecedented amount of control over his films. If working on the set of Clint's films is difficult, Imagine how difficult it must have been for his son, Scott Eastwood. Scott has appeared in several of his father's films, including 2012's Trouble with the Curve and 2008's Gran Torino. Although working with his father on set was certainly tough, Scott has expressed it was an incredible learning experience. He's learned a lot from his father's work ethic, although he has since preferred to star in films helmed by other directors. He recently appeared in 2021's Wrath of Man from director Guy Ritchie. Now it's time to hear from you. Comment down below to share what your favorite Clint Eastwood movie is. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse for more. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.